Hi, welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team give you an analysis with the information we got after the closing day of August 28, 2020. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. SP500 ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Dow Jones Industrial ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. NASDAQ 100 ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Corporate bond ETF was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that corporate bond ETF is a bare normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.2%. You may expect now a buy return of 0.9%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $136.17 but we expect a possible sell price of $137.1. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $134.6, unless is undervalued. On the call option table, corporate bond ETF has a striking price at $135. For this option, the actual call price is at $0.7, but we expect a possible call price at 0. Points. Let's look at the market sectors table. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell technology sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 4.2%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $120.31. For put option, a possible put price is at $1.61. energy sector ETF belongs to the trade normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Kinder Morgan. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.7%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $14.02. For put option, a possible put price is at $0.21. Kanoko Phillips Company was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Kanoko Phillips Company is a bare normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.4%. You may expect now a sell return of 3.2%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $37.17. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $39.47, unless is overvalued. On the put option table, Kanoko Phillips Company has a striking price at $38. For this option, the actual put price is at $1.01 but we expect a possible put price at $0.73. Financial sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock stable of financial sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Visa Incorporated. 
you can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.0%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $204.91. For put option, a possible put price is at $2.13. US Bancorp was a previous top seller alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that US Bancorp is a trade normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.4%. You may expect now a sell return of 3.6%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $35.85. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $37.46, unless is overvalued. On the put option table, US Bancorp has a striking price at $37. For this option, the actual put price is at $0.94 but we expect a possible put price at $0.64. Wells Fargo was a previous top seller alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Wells Fargo is a bull low class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.2%. You may expect now a sell return of 2.1%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $24.17. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $24.76, unless is overvalued. On the put option table, Wells Fargo has a striking price at $24.5. For this option, the actual put price is at $0.58, but we expect a possible put price at $0.39. real estate sector ETF belongs to the bull normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of real estate sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Simon Property Group. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 7.2%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $68.17. For put option, a possible put price is at $3.54. Healthcare sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Gilead Sciences. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 3.3%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $66.42. For call option, a possible call price is at $0.54. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Medtronic PLC. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.4%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $103.58. For put option, a possible put price is at $1.32. Eli Lilly and Company is a mild buy suggestion. It is on the trade high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 3.9%. You may expect now a buyer return of 2.2%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $148.13. But we expect a possible buy price of $145.59. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Eli Lilly and Company. If it is below 1.80% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, Eli Lilly and Company has a striking price at $149. For this option, the actual call price is at $2.49, but we expect a possible call price at $1.79. Industrial sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell.
Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell Raytheon Technologies. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.9%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $61.84. For put option, a possible put price is at $1.04. material sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of material sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell air products chemicals. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.6%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $291.05. For put option, a possible put price is at $8.02. Discretionary sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of discretionary sector. There is a weak opportunity to buy Tesla Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 2.3%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $2,242.97. For call option, a possible call price is at $122.22. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Walt Disney Company. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 0.9%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $132.09. For put option, a possible put price is at $1.76. Netflix Incorporated was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Netflix Incorporated is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.9%. You may expect now a sell return of minus 0.2%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $524.77, but we expect a possible buy price of $515.08. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $534.63 unless is overvalued. On the put option table, Netflix Incorporated has a striking price at $525. For this option, the actual put price is at $20.05. Consumer staples ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of staples sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Walmart Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 6.0%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $135.61. For put option, a possible put price is at $2.38. Technology sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of technology sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Communication sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of communication sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. 
our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Utility Sector ETF belongs to the Bear Normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of utility sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell Southern Company. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.5%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $51.8. For put option, a possible put price is at $0.49. This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good start on your trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.